Welcome back to another video. <laughs> your girl is back. It's your girl Jasmine Dustin. If you're new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up? What's good? What's good? We are back with a new weekly vlog video. My son, he just wants to be all on my body today. What's what's good? What's ha what happened? What's going on? He knows I'm about to go outside. So. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday. Your girl just got dressed. I got on a little running errands fit because I have some stuff that I want to go pick up around downtown. Um, got some exciting news. Shanice is going to be here in a couple hours. Ah! The last time I saw her was in Curacao, which was in August. I'm missing my bestie. Like, I'm literally missing her. Like, I've been missing her, but... I'm so glad that she's coming. So she's gonna be staying with me for the week. So you know we we gonna go out. Like the week is gonna be a good ass week. I'm so excited. And then Mona gets back from her little Euro, her Europe slash New York trip on Monday. So she's been gone for like a month. So the squad is gonna be back. Our little trio is gonna be back. Um, and then I also have like other stuff planned this week as well. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun exciting week I'm honestly I'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out like I don't even know how it's really gonna go for real You know cuz we just be doing stuff on a whim and I like that. I like that my friends are spontaneous Both of them are very spontaneous a Leo and a Scorpio spontaneous I Cleaned my you know, I gotta clean you know, I gotta clean if somebody's coming over, you know, I gotta clean so Clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen, bedroom's already clean. Um, and actually my living room is pretty clean, which I'm very happy about because I probably cleaned it like a couple of days ago. So yeah, the whole crib is giving clean. I'm just gonna go pick up like some Glade plugins from Target and maybe like some other little home stuff that I might need to re-up on. I wanna go to Whole Foods and get tomato soup because I wanna make grilled cheese because I have bread and cheese, but I don't have anything to make tomato soup and I also don't feel like making tomato soup from scratch, so I'm just gonna get the one from Whole Foods because it's really good. Um, and I have to get Benson dog food. I know the elephant in the room is my hair! <sighs> Yo girl, I literally straightened my hair last night. I went to the gym, and then I came back from the gym and I was supposed to go out yesterday, but I ended up going out. But I was like, I want to straighten my hair. Like, I don't know. Like, it's still press season. I want my hair to be straight. So I washed my hair really good, cleaned my scalp like super good, very thorough. Um, and then I blew my hair out and I straightened it and I posted on TikTok. So by the time this goes up, that video will already be up. So I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to go watch it. But yeah, my hair is giving inches this is all me no clippings no tapings no nothing this is all me and i gave myself a little trim like i cut like an inch off and then i kind of redid my layers because they were still there they're just like a little grown out but i wanted to check in with you guys i love you i love you so much i love you guys so much ah! <laughs> that's how i'll be talking to Ben soon um but yeah i'll catch you guys later Okay, I just got back. They didn't have the tomato soup, so I got the second best flavor. I honestly, there was another soup there that looked really good. I'm just warming it up. It was like a kale and tortellini soup. It looked so good, and I was like, ooh. But I knew I wanted to have a grilled cheese with my soup, so I was like, let me not get one that has pasta in it, cause like that's way too many carbs. But then my my silly little self went and grabbed some sweet potato fries and they were so good i literally i was snacking on them before i even left the store after i paid after i paid <laughs> no i just warmed it up autumn butternut squash that's probably like, it's really like yeah tomato soup and butternut squash soup are like my two favorite soup i'm challenged just because i like cutting my grilled cheese in fours I don't know, like, I just feel like if I'm going to eat a sandwich, like a grilled cheese or a peanut butter, like, I should just commit and go all the way and just cut it in fours, like, as if I were a kid. And if I didn't like the crust, I'd cut that off, but I actually do like the crust. And then I'm drinking this little um, sparkling water from Silvani. This is the Ingenuous Green Apple, and it's flavored with organic fruit juice. It has 12% organic fruit juice in the sparkling water. And I actually really like it. They sent this to me, like, just for me to try it. 
um it was this flavor green apple i have raspberry in the fridge and then there's also tangerine i drank the tangerine i really like tangerine i like citrusy sparkling water like i usually if i have regular sparkling water i like to put lemon in it or lime if i'm at a restaurant so i like the tangerine one but this green apple is really good like you can taste the juice i feel like the tangerine i don't know i couldn't really taste the tangerine that much but this one i can taste the green apple like it legit it legit tastes like apple juice and sparkling water together but not super potent apple juice like don't think that it's like martinelli's but sparkling because it's not <laughs> it's definitely more sparkling water than the juice but you get the hint of it which i like and i'm such a sparkling water kind of girl like i try to always have at least one case in my cabinet or and like some of them in the fridge because i don't know i just like the bubbles like i like the carbonation but i don't like soda and stuff like that so so yeah i'm about to eat my soup and my grilled cheese, Shanice just texted me and said she's boarding her flight. So she'll literally be here in like two hours because I think the flight is like an hour or an hour and a half. It's really, it might even be less than an hour from Arizona to LA. I'm pretty sure it's like a 30 minute flight. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to chill. I have a TikTok to edit and post before she gets here. And then we'll see what we're doing later with Shanice. It's Vlogmas. <laughs> Benson, you oh, missed know. her too. Benson. Look at their spot. Her and Mona's spot. Look how crowded it is. We got the Taiwanese popcorn chicken. This is his first time. We're gonna vlog her eating it. Yeah, let me get you too. I like it because like I go. Yeah. Where would you go your own But I can't wait, Zoggy. If you went to a bank on El Segundo, pretty much every other day I'll be here. Of course, they're like, we're cheap. There's also this sauce. Hold on. Over oh, there. I need mean, like a sauce. Yeah. We just got back from Pine and Crane. My belly is full. Yeah, we picked up a little bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some duck horn. She just said white, so we're doing white. I did not just say white. Yeah. We agreed that the red was going to make us sleepy. The so. red is going to make us sleepy. <laughs> it's going to make me sleepy for sure, especially because my belly is full. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting the tea. <laughs> Guys, we are getting ready to go out. We are honestly thinking of not going out because we were kind of getting tired. She said, don't fall asleep. She said, don't said, sit down. I said it's Saturday. We gotta go. <laughs> Doesn't this thing come clutch? Yeah. Literally, it's the most organized my makeup has ever been. Like, yeah. And then when I have to travel, I literally just take the whole thing. Yeah. Like, the color makes a difference. It does. Jasmine doesn't know this, but I love her so much. Let's see if she puts this in the vlog. She probably won't cut it out, but I love her. Sweet Diamond from K. Ali. It smells so good. You gonna wear it? Okay, this is what I'm wearing. This dress is from Zara. I have on these black tights from H&M. I have on my fave black boots from Macy's, my little dupe. I'm also gonna put on this leather coat. Hold on. So this is my full outfit. Pan it out. Jacket, Zara. Dress, Zara. Tights, H&M. Boots, Macy's. Just to stay on theme. Good morning. Is it morning still? Uh, 
it's afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday. I I wanted to do a me revealing my uh my rap that I did last night takedown, but it already like came out. I literally just got out the shower and got dressed. Me and Shanice are about to go and get brunch. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. I wrapped my hair last night for the first time and it actually came out pretty good. I honestly wasn't gonna do it and then Shanice made me do it. So shout out to her. But yeah, and I just posted my silk press on TikTok, my little silk press routine. I just have on like really chill clothes. This is such a yummy, fragrance and i'm you know she gets used so we're doing kaoli yum pistachio gelato when i wear this i remember i sprayed myself down in this and then i got in the elevator to go upstairs and this guy turned to me and he was like you smell like marshmallows <laughs> and i was like thanks it's like a very sweet soft fragrance and i'm feeling very feminine today because i started my period <laughs> and this topicals mint lip what is this? Slick Solve Mint Lip Balm. She's the bomb.com. And it's very glossy. I like a lip balm that looks like lip gloss. It is very hydrating. I'm just wearing this little shirt from H&M. And my body sweatpants. Oh, it doesn't say it on the butt anymore. I forgot that she did that. I got a PR package yesterday. I got a PR package from Elta MD. I haven't heard of this brand, but it's a skincare brand. But they sent me, along with some skincare, an aloe beanie, which I wore yesterday, if you saw. And these aloe plush, lush socks. Um, very cute. And then we have the Clear Skin Daily Duo. Oh, you know what? I need to put on SPF, but I don't want to open a new one. But thank you so much to Elta MD. I wear SPF every day, even if it's not super sunny. And I really like this one from Inez Free. I keep it in my makeup bag, so it's a little dirty, but this is SPF 36. And I like it because it doesn't give a white cast. So this is Melanin Girl Friendly. Oh, crrr. I'm just gonna wear my Yeezys. We're giving cash. We're at Prank Bar. We're gonna get mimosas and brunch. Champagne. <laughs> oh, she already opened it, I just realized. <laughs> These sunglasses are such an eat. Like she did that with, she did her big one. Your glass, please. Well, you could just take this one. Like, these girls are interesting. In the cut, in the cut, they be fat dick. We should do that because we always like kind of dress the same. So we should be like, we should do that sound and be like, um, when you and your bestie are always matching. Because we really do like. If we're not wearing like the same jacket or the same sunglasses or like the same colors like we always like and it's always unintentional too like obviously she's staying with me right now but like even when she lived in LA we would get ready we wouldn't even say like what we're wearing and we would just meet up and be wearing the same thing like all the time a little orange juice the proper way to pour champagne is to tilt your glass ladies and gents so he would take me Sunday funny. We're filming TikToks. Mm -hmm. Have our drink in one hand and our in the other. We're playing. Where's the sound? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. I don't even know where we left off. You were still in a relationship. I was? Yep. Damn. Me and Shanice said a prayer last night. Shanice said the prayer, and I was like, you know, but we said it together. And we're claiming consistency for ourselves next year um, more money, bigger deals, bigger bags, good health. 
beautiful lives and, and happiness and joy, like simply enjoy. And we're claiming that for ourselves because we keep God in our lives, um, period. So I got the uh, maple sausage sliders. <laughs> and it comes with uh, potatoes. Those are actually really good. No, now I low-key feel like I should have got the potatoes. So, yeah, it looks really good. I got a side of ketchup and jalapenos. Shaggy's got a steak and, what is it? Steak and egg omelet? Yeah, spicy steak and omelet. But I'm waiting for lunch. <laughs> oh yeah, she's already planned out what she's getting in an hour. <laughs> We're still here, you guys. My lips are purple. Shanice uh, wanted to finish off with a glass of red after we just did champagne and orange juice all day. So I'm about to be a little buzz going home. Um, the 49ers lost. No, they won. The Eagles lost. The Eagles lost. So. This is what happens when you have a friend who has, who knows nothing about football. What is she saying? When they tackled the player on like right before the touchdown, she was like, why are they all on top of each other? <laughs> what is going on? I did not pass the NFL wifey uh, test. I couldn't. The vibe check is not there. I don't know. I don't watch football. Like, I don't know anything about football. Yeah, literally, I was so confused. I was like, why are there 30 niggas piling on top of each other? Like, are they supposed to be doing that? It was just giving free-for-all, you know? Like, one of them did it, and then the rest of them were like, yeah. Like, I literally did not know that that was a thing. Yeah. Um, NFL wifey, maybe not. But I know a little bit more about NBA, like basketball, question mark? Basketball wifey, question mark? But yeah, we're drinking red wine. You know. Oh, it's four for four. You guys can see. Oh, and now I want something sweet. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> Why did she look like Jocelyn in that one meme? <laughs> she's well, like, she's just over it. <laughs> I don't know what meme you're talking about. We're at Joey's now, and Shanice wanted chocolate cake. Why is she? She's on her cycle, so she wanted. <laughs> She's about to be on her cycle. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to be a mom. She's on her. We want cut it, chocolate. Cut it open. Cut it open. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Good morning, Vlogging Vlog. Happy Monday. It is Monday. It is Monday, December 4th. I'm headed to the gym. Got all my little workout sets. In this little sweater. It's kind of chilly outside. Shanice is still here. <laughs> She's gonna be here. She's going to do her own errands. Make sure you watch her vlog to see what she's doing today because <laughs> we're doing different things. And I'll, I won't be vlogging there, but I will see you guys later. Got a problem, you guys. I think we have a problem because why are we at Pine and Crane again? Oh my god! Mona's here! And we're here! Yo. A little bit of, uh, I don't even know what. I was gonna say mental illness, but it's not that. It's just a little addiction, you know? Just a slight small one. I got a taro milk tea with boba. She says it has taro cream on top and then taro chunks and then I added boba to it. It looks so good. Yummers bummers. All of our food came out. Mona got the Dan Dan noodles. Shanice's beef soup thing beef noodle soup <laughs> and my shrimp wontons because don't play with me in my face you guys oh my gosh so update right happy tuesday it is tuesday i almost forgot what day it was i'm in zara i just walk over here with hillary and with shanice but yeah we just pulled up to zara um, I'm going to an event tomorrow with Hillary and the color purple is encouraged. <gasps> she 
Shanice. They have the dress in more colors. Look, this is business cash. This color. That's the dress I wore the other night. You're saying you're a paralegal. Yeah, I'm a paralegal. That's paralegal colors. But yeah, Hillary's bringing me to an event and the color purple is encouraged and I don't have any purple in my closet that I want to wear. Like all the purple I do have, I've exhausted. I've worn way too much. So that's why I'm here. But I almost have a feeling like I'm not going to be able to find anything. One, because it's like, I know what winter in Zara looks like in terms of color. And it's never, it's never like colorful. It's all like brown and black and golds and stuff like that. This is a really pretty little coat. Look at this coat. That's what I'm currently looking for. And then after that, I'm going to go to the gym. So that's why I'm dressed for the gym. Later on, I have dinner in West, Ho in West Hollywood with my friend Amina. And I'm thinking about stopping at the PLT showroom before I go to dinner so I can see what they have in terms of purple for tomorrow's event. So it's just been a really hectic day, which is why I haven't picked up my camera up until this point because I was also working all morning and I did not have the time like at all and i'm not seeing an ounce of purple like i have not seen one purple thing these are so cute omg <gasps> no wait why do i want these okay so i'm trying on these shoes are these cute i don't know i kind of like them and i like how pointed they are okay so just left zara and h&m it was a bust no purple but i'm still gonna try and make it to the plt showroom today so that i can see what they have and fingers crossed there's something in there for me but right now i'm going to the gym because your girl needs to get this workout in the body needs to stay snatched oh, and shanice is i believe going to lunch with a friend so everybody's kind of doing their own thing which is very cute actually. i'm getting ready so a couple of updates didn't get to go to the pretty little thing showroom because the timing of it just didn't work out they actually closed really early today so i wasn't gonna make it um i did go to zara after the gym but i still didn't find anything so i don't know what i'm gonna do in terms of tomorrow we're gonna deal with that tomorrow but as far as today, I'm about to get ready for dinner. I got a DM the other day, like, because I posted about my um, silk press. And I put it in quotations because it's no longer a silk press. She's completely sweated out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got a question. Well, I got a couple of questions. Like, girl, how do you maintain your silk press when you go to the gym? And I'm like, maintain what silk press? Like, I'm going to sweat it out. Like, I don't know i feel like some people just have like really good um they either don't sweat that much when they work out so like they're not sweating their hair out or the texture of their hair like doesn't poof up as easily with like sweating or like humidity like shanice can have a soap press for a month and her shit is still gonna be super sleek and straight literally four weeks after getting her hair pressed out me like mine could barely last four days but that's just because our hair is different like we don't have the same type of hair so i don't know like i don't have an answer like i don't maintain my silk press my silk press gets sweated out every time i know like i'm gonna have to work out that's it it's a wrap so i'm gonna be re-blowing out my hair basically and i'm gonna try and film a tiktok because I'm really trying to be on my TikTok ish. I'm trying to be on my TikTok ish. Kick you wet. Diamonds get you bitch wet. Oh, absolutely not. And then now my scalp is starting to get a little dirty. I got a little dry, dry shampoo though. So yeah, I'm just about to do my hair. And I'm doing really natural makeup. Like the rest of my hair is pretty much still straight down here, obviously. It's really just my roots and around my crown that's like sweaty and so we're gonna see if we can salvage this i'm gonna spray this kristen s blow dry mist girl she's almost done but i'm gonna spray this my
Okay, so I got my roots pretty straight. Now I'm gonna go with some dry shampoo. This one's from, I don't even know where. I'll just have it down below. We're on makeup. I literally have to leave in like, I should leave in seven minutes, but I'm gonna leave in 12. You know better, so you did better. Plus I'm more of a bro, am I better? Even when I'm rushing, I feel like this quick like little face always eats. Oh my gosh, my pencil's about to be done. Tell him make me flaky. My nigga stay with that. He like the name. The timer right now my on this clip is 11 minutes long, and I'm literally done with my makeup. Literally about to get dressed. Okay, this is my outfit. I have on these leather trousers from PLT that I love. These are probably like my favorite pants right now in my closet. And until I get another pair to replace them. They're gonna be my favorite pair. Nothing on my phone is loading. Oh my god, this is not the time. Stop. Well, I did have a thousand things open. Okay, I just called my Uber. I just got to Isabel. <laughs> got to dinner with Amiga. Hi. Doesn't she look so pretty? Yeah, so we just got to Isabel, looking over the menu. It really is. It's such a pretty restaurant. I've only been here once before, and I don't even think I really, I think I had a salad. I've been here a couple times. Uh, Do you have any favorites? I had their steak last time. The filet it was incredible. Kind of in the mood for steak. You are? Yeah. Oh, have you had the lemon pasta? Uh, I was looking at that online. You guys, we ordered Brussels sprouts. They look so good and they smell really good too. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Yeah. We got our drinks. Cheers. This looks so good. You guys know I'm such a martini girl. This is like basically like a little apple martini. Let's try it. to die for <laughs> quite literally they're so yummy so i got the lemon pasta with grilled chicken here's the salmon and the salmon it looks so good it's on a puree i don't know why it was just making it so orange that was like really concerning oh my god so press is it is it pressing I just wasted like five minutes of my time, me trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And I can't freaking zip up the back of my bodysuit. Not even because it doesn't zip, but the zipper is just like, I don't know, it's getting stuck or something. Ooh. These are the kinds of things that suck when you live alone. And it's so funny because Shanice is staying with me this week, but she's obviously not here. She went to go get her hair done. So I'm just like, um, I think I'm just gonna go outside like that and ask somebody at the nail salon to zip it up for me because I literally don't know what to do. I literally can't get it to zip up. So it is what it is. I literally have to go. Whoa, this is how we're going outside. Let me make sure I grab a battery for my camera. I've got my headphones. I'm taking you guys with me, obviously. I'm just using this little tote bag. Um, 
That's my bag. Phone. Keys by the door. I got my Lord Vey shades on. The body is giving. So it just I just got to the nail salon. Um, it was me asking the nail lady to zip up my jumpsuit. And she was able to help me. Thank you. Is that high enough? Yeah. This one broke on the corner. So just try and get it as square as possible. And I want to cut this one down so that it's the same length. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Doing the heavenly gel penny because I have calluses. He said that I need to remove. And I got the massage chair going. <sighs> It's a little self-care moment, why not? I need it, I've been stressed out, so. Your girl just got back by not nail salon. For my toes having been broken, he did an amazing job on fixing my busted toenail. Like, it was honestly like slanted and he was able to get it to look square. It's short, but it doesn't look bad. And then I stopped at Quench and I got a smoothie before I came back in because I always like, I feel a little iffy about like eating really like big meals or like really eating at all before I go, an event, go to an event, which sounds really bad. But like, I don't want to look bloated in my photos. Like, I don't. Like, I will choose to not eat and then I'm usually hungry. Um, but I look, yeah. Cause I'm not trying to look bloated. Like, that's just me though. Like, do what you want. Do, do what you want to do. But for me, I'll drink a smoothie and I'll be fine. So I usually will have like a protein shake or a smoothie. This has protein in it. I didn't end up finding a purple dress for this event. So I don't think I said where I'm going, but if I did, I'm gonna just say it again. I'm going to the Color Purple premiere with my friend Hillary. You guys actually didn't get to see her yesterday in the vlog, but you'll probably see her today. Um, I'm definitely not gonna be able to bring my camera though, cause it's a movie premiere. But I'm gonna vlog on my phone. So there's that, and they obviously encouraged to wear the color purple and I was trying to like find something new because I do have purple in my closet but like I've literally worn that dress like so many times to events now that I'm just like girl like you gotta let that sit in your closet for a little while because you photographed in it so many times so I think I'm just gonna wear a black dress instead and I'm opening my Amazon package Mona is gonna let me borrow one of her dresses to wear. Um, I just got these puppy wipes. They're literally $4.99 on Amazon. And I like them a lot. And we I, we use these a lot on Benson because his paws be dirty, chow. And then I also got a new gel polish color. I want to paint my nails. But I don't think I have time because I would low-key have to give myself like a refresh on this set. It, I have no lifting or anything. But I would definitely have to like buff them down, fill in, and then add color. And that's too much. It's 1.33 and I'm supposed to leave by 6. No, I'm supposed to be there by 6. Which means I, at that time, like leaving, I have to leave at like 5.15. Because traffic's probably going to take me like 30. No, it'll probably 5.30 I could leave to get there by 6. Do a little maintenance. Thank goodness my armpits are already waxed. So I don't have to do that. But I'm going to shave my legs. I'm going to shower and shave my legs and all that stuff and hopefully mona will be over here by like three so that i could look at these dresses it's really the body for me like um it's my nail tech telling me he was like i'm really proud of you for your weight loss you look so good happy wednesday shanice should also be back soon and oh last thing 
So me and Shanice started watching Squid Games The Challenge like two nights ago and we're literally obsessed with it. Like we binged the first five episodes together and then I went to dinner last night. She watched five and six. And then when I came back from dinner, I watched five, six, and a little bit of seven. And then I was like, okay, let me turn her off because she's sleep. But like, we're literally obsessed with it. Like, she, it was her texting me while I was at dinner. And she was like, um, yeah, I'm probably going to watch the show without you. Like, I literally, like, I need to watch it. And I was like, girl, go ahead. Like, it's so good. I'm on the edge of my seat. And like, every time I think that they're showing me backstory of somebody, it's because like, oh they're gonna like get pretty far or something they literally get eliminated off i'm just like what and then there's new people just popping up that i've never seen before i'm like on episode four there was like two new people that i literally i legit never seen and they just became the storyline for that episode basically that episode in episode five and i was just like okay but there's one guy that he's been there since episode one basically yeah and I'm on episode seven and he's still there. So we finna see, I don't know. But it's so good. If you haven't watched it, girl, you need to watch it. You guys, I'm getting ready. Oh my God. The amount of like stress I've had about my freaking outfit today is just on another level, but we found something. Um, shout out to Shanice, she literally lent me one of her outfits. And I just finished doing my hair. I have to leave in like 30 minutes. The jackpot for the to win the show is $4.56 million. That's mad bread. They yeah. care. It's just one person that receives it? Yeah. Yeah, Shanice was benching it. The first episode we we're watching, she's like, oh, this is so corny. By the end of fucking episode one, eyes glued to the TV. You talk about some play the next one. And I was like, oh! Um, each time he would get up to like go to the bathroom, she's like, where you going? <laughs> no, he, he was like, to the bathroom, chill out. <laughs> oh my like, god. So scary. I text him like, oh, I'm so scared upstairs. Do you want some? And she's like, to be honest, I think I'm good. I was like, okay, this is very interesting. Shuffling up the stairs. That's crazy. What a story. Okay, I finished getting ready. It was my camera dying while I was doing my makeup. But this is the beats. Yeah, this is my makeup. Um, when have you guys seen me on a red lip? Like, hello, can we get into it? Yeah, Shanice gave me this really cute outfit to wear tonight because I literally, I was gonna wear an outfit that Mona gave me, a dress, and I literally popped a strap. <laughs> Set from Pretty Little Thing. I have on tights from H&M and my boots from Macy's. And I really like the way I did my hair. Did a little spiky three part, half up, half down. Bye. I just got to be a fan Hi. with my boo, Hillary. Let's go watch the movie. I to go watch the color purple. I know. It's so exciting and there are so many celebs in the movie. So many. I can't wait to see if anyone's going to talk to us. <laughs> Popcorn and boxed water. Guys, it's it was discovered by Quincy Jones, who was in Chicago for a lawsuit that was being filed against Michael Jackson. Oh. Saw me on this little show called AM Chicago. <laughs> Watch it for Christmas. 
I cried. Chilly she didn't cry and I laughed. <laughs> I was like, bitch, are you crying? Sorry, I won't do that anymore, right? That shit was funny. Happy Pink Friday! Happy Pink Friday! It's Pink Friday! It's Nikki motherfucker birthday! It's Pink motherfucker birthday! We got PF2 last night. I listened to it twice from start to finish, and the first, the first listen, literally by the time I got to the second or third song, I was crying. Like, literally tears because you don't understand like i really love nikki and she really gave us another classic album like i was listening i'm listening to her cadence her flow like her delivery the different the she she's switching up her flow like four or five times on one song like the lyrics obviously the beat the production like it's so masterfully masterfully done I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, I can legit hear these songs being played for the next decade. Like, literally the same way that people still listen to Pink Friday. Pink Friday 2 is a classic. She did that easily. Best album of the year and definitely best album of this decade. Best rap album. Like, the girls are not coming like that. The guys are not coming like that. She's such, she's a musical genius. Like, I literally was like, yo every single song i'm not just saying that because i'm a fan like i genuinely i can recognize like i'm a fan of someone's music love their music love them but like okay maybe this song is just like eh, it's just okay not a flop but like it's just okay no every single song every single song like you really gotta listen but like every single song she's no one's doing it like her like i'm sorry everybody's trying to they try to replicate the way that she's just like you could even hear like the different characters we all know like the different nikki her nikki um alter egos we we know all of them you can literally hear when they switch on the song like it's crazy this is insane like she did her biggest one like she said gag city and i'm a resident of gag city because i am gags like point blank period happy motherfucking pink friday i just got dressed for the gym i ordered this really cute okay so we all know lululemon is i never bought lululemon to be honest because it was just a little bit too expensive for me but it was something that i wanted to try one day and i still was like Hmm, but am I a Lulu girl? I don't think I am, but I'm an Amazon girly. Love me some Amazon down, okay? And I found this Lululemon dupe on Amazon. I just want to say, I felt Lululemon before. I've gone into the store and stuff. They have one in downtown, actually. And one thing I can say about Lululemon stuff is like it's super buttery soft. Like I feel like the quality of it is really soft. It has a great stretch. And I think it like kind of hugs the body in a nice way to where it's just like flattering, kind of just smooths you all out. And babes, this, this does that. Literally, like this material is so buttery. Like it's so soft. It feels really nice on the skin. It's really stretchy too. Like super stretchy look. Stretch, stretch, like stretch. Thumb holes, love that. I think that's always super cute. I got the top with the like zip up so it doesn't zip all the way down, which I personally love. I like little tops like this. I'm wearing it with a sports bra underneath. And it has pockets. OMG, there are little pockets in here. I'm not gonna put anything in there, but there's a pocket right here on the side. And then look at the legging bottoms. Hold on, look at the bottoms. The waistband has like this really cute kind of like V-shaped design. So it kind of like goes like this, which is definitely more flattering. The ankles are regular. I thought I bought the ones that are like the bell bottom ankle, but I didn't. I checked my Amazon order and I bought like the regular legging, but still these are really comfortable. Like I genuinely love the way this feels on my body. Um, I also feel like it's comparable to Gymshark as well. And yeah i like the price point of this so much more so i'm definitely gonna go and order some more they had so many colors um the only thing was i was trying to get like sets so i saw like i would see like a pair of pants i liked but then they were sold out in my size in the top in the same color so there's that because they're kind of popular i guess i don't know i saw it on tiktok so and i got this really cute olive green color 
and baby yeah. and I just feel like it looks so good like this this is obviously a workout set yoga set um, but like I can see the girlies running errands in this too you know how they love to go get their their coffee and they go to Target and run errands like this is a super super cute set I need this in literally every color I'm about to head to the gym if that wasn't obvious I'm drinking some tea this is the winter wake-up tea from Trader Joe's so good he so badly wants me to pick him up give mommy a hug good boy papa good boy duty you good boy you're such a good boy look at you you're the goodest boy oh. this is mommy's baby this is mommy's baby that's mommy's baby look at mommy's baby and yeah that's gonna be my day unless something else pops up um i don't plan on it but we shall see happy friday happy pink friday i'm gonna go back to listening to the album happy monday it is monday i hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas if you are leave a comment down below right now so as far as today um i've been up since 8 a.m um doing a little bit of work i posted on instagram and tiktok um this little makeup reel that i filmed that i was really i was like i'm very pleased with the way this came out honestly responded to some emails and now i have a meeting um at 12 which is in about like 15 minutes um so i'm gonna sit in a meeting with my management we do like a touch base every two weeks so we're touching base today talking about whatever brand deals i have um upcoming brand deals and stuff like that we talk strategy on like content that they think that I should post and things of that nature. And just, you know, all of the ins and outs of having management. And I just want to say so far, it's probably been like a month now that I've had management and I'm really loving it. They're, my team is just an amazing team. I feel like um, they're very communicative with me like throughout the entire process, just of like, you know, everything. And I also feel like we're 100% on the same page, which... Is something that I've literally dreamt of um, and I also feel like I've manifested this kind of management this management specifically and also like my dream management I feel like I've met manifested where I'm at right now and then after that I'm gonna be going to the gym I'm already dressed cuz I need to skedaddle I want to get my workout in I'm gonna spend like two two and a half hours at the gym um, which is like standard for me and then after that I'm gonna come back and I want to film some content before I head to this pretty little thing event at it starts at 7 but I'm gonna aim to get there at 8 because it's from like 7 to 10 so like, I'm gonna aim to get there for like 8 o'clock and it's at the PLT showroom it's like a holiday party so yeah that should be fun and that's gonna be my Monday so yeah uh, mm, mm. We're being productive we're getting our, our shit done we're getting to our goals we're making things happen we're chasing a bag we're chasing a bag hi happy monday happy monday how are you good how's the weekend? it was a good weekend it was pretty chill yeah yeah chill weekend just prepping for the upcoming week. The time is rolling fast. It is, right? I feel like we're gonna blink and next week's gonna be Christmas. No, no, that's basically yeah. it. I'm like, yeah. And then a different year. It's a completely yeah. different year. I can't no, believe it. It has been, what well, I, I feel like it's been the fastest year. Like it went like, where did the time go? I don't yeah, know. I feel like it was just, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like it was just February. <laughs> <laughs> of this yeah. year i'm like i'm literally thinking the same thing but it's okay jasmine best season is coming up aquarius season is Ooh! on the way i'm not ready <laughs> <sighs> my favorite time of year no well, same so that's why i love top of the year honestly <laughs> hectic because that's how december goes but yeah. we are getting through things we can chat for some stuff my meeting just finished it went very well good little touch base it was a quick one not mad at it um they gave me some notes which i will be applying um because i feel like that's literally like what i need aside from like 
not having to literally juggle everything now with management i also kind of just need like a second set of eyes to look at what i'm doing like from the outside looking in tell me like okay like do more of this do less of this maybe try this have you done this maybe go back to doing this like i feel like i need that because when you're solely doing everything on your own you're like coming up with the ideas you're obviously creating the content then you're editing the content and all of that stuff like you kind of get like tunnel vision almost with what you're creating and producing and although like that can be really good it's also still like great to hear other people's opinions on things like i'm not i i never shy away from constructive criticism only when i'm like wanting it <laughs> and i and i genuinely want it um but like if it definitely it, i feel like if someone gives me constructive criticism and it's like i didn't even ask for it i'd be looking at them like <laughs> why are you even saying anything right now but like i obviously would never feel like that towards my ministry i literally asking them like okay like what do you guys think i should be doing more of what do you think i should change like what are your thoughts and i know eventually we could talk he would tell me that his mommy is the prettiest mommy in the whole wide world right right papa but yeah mommy gotta go to the gym because i have to continue being a milf <laughs> I be say I literally will say I be like okay bye Benson mommy's going to the gym so she can continue to be a MILF so your mommy could stay a MILF and I know he just be looking at me like girl stop Benson I love you I have to go I'm going to the gym so your mommy can be a MILF <laughs> mm, and I'm streaming Nikki the whole time I'm in the gym I'm only listening to Nikki I'm only listening to Big Friday too Say hi to the peoples. Say hi, duty. Hi, papa. So yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all after the gym when we're getting ready for that event later. You guys, it's me back in the same spot. Um, I went to the gym earlier and now we're getting ready for the Pretty Little Thing holiday party. Um, but I'm also recording my makeup for TikTok, so. Honestly, I'm working on filming a <laughs> I'm working on filming a beauty video for you guys for YouTube, like uh, an in-depth kind of updated makeup routine. But I've just been posting all my beauty content on TikTok and Instagram because I feel like it gets more love on there. But yeah, I'm about to do my makeup. This is the before. Um, I don't even know if you guys can see my hair because of how front lit I am that you can't see the back but i have like a high pony going see you when i look cute in two seconds but, uh, come on come on they telling me okay prove it i leave these niggas back spotify ain't got a lot they really streaming my music mine was 950 okay so i just called my uber i'm taking you guys with me so oh my uber is one minute away chill let's go <laughs> guys i just got here how cute chill i'm at the blue of this store it's nikki As it was, it's like a martini. And what'd you get? I got a, I spilled it, but I got a sex on fire. It's tequila and raspberry. Mix. Wow, that sounds so good. And then we ordered some food too. I know, I'm excited for the food. I'm in the restaurant with my bright ass light. So we just left the pretty little thing event and now we're getting drinks and food. 
Okay, I got guac and chips. Hillary got some tacos, asada, and beans. Period. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, thank you for the hugs. No face licking, Papa. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Good morning. I've been up for like the last two hours, but I was just kind of like doing stuff on my phone. Stop. Responding to comments, responding to DMs, all that stuff. In bed though, chill. <laughs> Um, the Pretty Little Thing event last night was interesting to say the least. <laughs> um, yeah, that's really all I'm going to say on it. Why did I come home at 12.30 and film, 12.30 a.m. and film um, a reel slash TikTok? Like I filmed some content of me getting unready and I was very proud of myself. I wasn't super lit because after... After the Pretty Little Thing event, me and Hillary went to EPNLP because she was really hungry. I just had one drink. Y'all, I didn't even realize the drinks were so expensive there. <laughs> Why did I spend $21 on a freaking drink? It's like, what the hell? If I knew it was $21, I literally wouldn't have ordered it. And I think I was looking at like a happy hour menu. I could have sworn the drink was literally half that price, but I think that was the happy hour menu I was looking at. By the time I got home, I had a cute little buzz, a cute one. It was not anything crazy. Like I was like, ooh, this feels nice. And I guess I was just in that good of a mood that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film this get I'm ready with me. And I filmed it. I'm so proud of myself. That's it. What are you doing? Are you being a good boy or are you being a bad boy? Are you being a good boy or are you being a bad boy? Okay. Just sit in his turn. Are you being a good boy? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. This dog has too much personality for me sometimes. I'll be like, where do you think you get off? Like, you are not a human. Like, you need to pipe down to your level. Like, you need to bring it from here all the way down here, buddy. I actually think I want to, I don't know if you guys remember, in like a couple of vlogs back, I bought a puppy advent calendar. And I'm like, should I save it? Cause like next week is Christmas and I don't know how many, I'm like, is it two weeks worth or is it one week's worth? Here he comes. He's like, is that for me? <laughs> come back over here. Sit down. He's fiending right now. He could smell it. Jeez Louise. Oh, Ooh, what's that Papa? But yeah, I opened up number one. It's like these little star dog treats. It's for you. It's for the puppy. <laughs> I need y'all to see him. He's so like, hey, 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 sit down. Good boy. Treat. <gasps> Ooh. Wait, come back for the other one. Or I'm gonna just put it, I'm gonna put it right here. Good boy. That's day number one. I'm gonna open up another one with him, but a little bit later, cause I gotta go now. I'm about to get dressed for the gym and just go and drop off the clothes, donate the clothes. And then after that, I'll just go straight to the gym so I can just bang that out. And then I'm gonna come back and I have so much stuff to edit. I have reels and TikToks and YouTube videos to edit. So it's gonna be the rest of the day just me editing. Isn't this so cute? This is such a cute little idea. Hello vloggy vlog. So look at me and my jammies, my Christmas jammies, my Savage X Fenty Christmas jammies with my name on them. I've been editing for like literally the last couple of hours. I was trying to get the video done so I could post it tomorrow, but that's not gonna happen. And I'm also getting really sleepy and I try not to force myself to sit at the computer and like sit up and edit while I'm actively getting tired. Like I feel like that's unfair to myself. So I am gonna get ready for bed now. Well, I'm pretty much ready for bed. Showered, skincare. Although you probably can't tell, but did my skincare, showered, all of that 
fun stuff. And I actually got this um, hatch restore kind of, I think it's an alarm clock. It says your bedside sleep companion. I got this in PR and I kind of want to try it out. Like I want to see what it's giving. I don't know. Apparently this brand started off for babies and then it became really popular. So they made like a version for adults. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to be treated like a baby. I want to be somebody's baby. So maybe like that starts with me treating myself like a baby. <laughs> I'm literally just chatting now. Um, no, but seriously. Oh. 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 I just banged. I just literally two of my nails. Hold on. That really freaking hurt. You know when you like your nails are long, whether you have like gel or acrylic or whatever, and you just bang your nail like and you feel it in the in the the bed of your nail that's literally what just happened <laughs> but we're gonna open her up oh my gosh a little um clock i'm gonna probably just sit it i don't have actual nightstands um and i'm also like completely thinking i'm getting so well like off track but like i'm really thinking about rearranging my room like in a major way why did i decide to set this up now and i'm tired i don't know i might have to do this in the morning i'm not gonna lie okay charger meet your hatch restore uh step one connect the power cable to restore blah 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 download the hatch app i knew there was going to be an app complete the steps in the hatch sleep app to connect your restore wi-fi is required you know i've never had an alarm clock I don't think i've ever had an alarm clock like i just literally like my life is my phone and i'm trying to move away from that because i feel like at times i'm too dependent on my phone like when it comes to literally everything in life and i know probably so many of you guys can relate but i'm like i'm trying to move away from it i'm like okay like let me you know start using notebooks to like jot things down instead of like putting it in my phone although like it's obviously super convenient to just have everything on one device but like if i lose this if someone gets a hold of it i just feel like my whole life is in my phone like this is like gold to me <laughs> like this is my this is my source of income this is my my scheduling this is literally my life my contacts to the outside world to my i only have my my parents and my sister's phone number memorized by heart everybody else is like i literally would not be able to tell you my passwords like literally everything is in my phone i'm just like okay what are little ways that i can start implementing using other things so that i'm not so dependent on my phone so that's also why i kind of like the idea of an alarm clock because this i actually you know what i do and my friends have pointed it out because like we'll go on trips or whatever or like past relationships whatever like i do this thing where all of my alarm clock sounds i have set to the same ringtone that my phone rings when i get a phone call and i did that intentionally because when i'm sleeping i'm a pretty light sleeper if my phone starts to ring and I think I'm getting a call, I will jump up and I will get out of bed. I feel like if my alarm is too specific and I know it's my alarm, I'm just going to snooze it. If I know my alarm is too gentle, then I'm just going to snooze it. Like I'm, I will snooze that alarm. I don't know. Like now I just feel like I'm rambling. But basically I'm saying all of that to say I want an alarm clock. I want something that is outside of my phone. I want to put my phone on sleep mode. I love the DND focuses. I have sleep mode. I want to put my phone on sleep mode and not touch my phone for like the first hour that I'm awake if possible and use this obviously to wake up. So have an alarm clock, get up at a certain time, start my day, brush my teeth, wash my face, do my skincare, drink a cup of tea. Like before I decide, before I go and I pick up my phone and go on my computer and start to check emails and do work and all of that stuff. So I'm hoping that this is going to 
be conducive to that and just kind of aid in a more i don't know productive morning although my mornings are pretty productive but like we can be more productive there's always room for growth there's always room to be better i'm gonna set this up and then i'm gonna go to sleep and i'll tell you how i feel about it in the morning good night I love vloggy vlog. Happy Wednesday. Look at my dog pawing me. Come. Ooh. I had such a good rest. OMG. I'm going to tell you guys more about my alarm clock later. But right now I'm about to do my nails. I already started. Benson, you little freak is away. Can you stop licking my ears? I already started doing my nails. I lost one. I'm mainly doing them because I have an event to go to later. I'm going to a K. Ali um, movie screening event. And yeah, I can't go to an event with my nails looking like this. Like, they look crazy. Honestly, it was time for a fill-in, but I'd be trying to push it. But the fact that I lost the nail, like, no ma'am. Do my nails. I'm going to do a really simple, like, pink set because I'm not trying to spend too much time on my nails, TBH. The event is in, like, four and a half hours. So this is the before. And we finna get into this after. You guys, it's the way I'm running so freaking late. I finished my nails. Why is my camera not? Ciao. No, don't do this to me now. I literally can't take any more happening. <laughs> Please stop. I look naked. I have on a top. I literally, I got out the shower. I was like, okay, about to throw on an outfit, get my make, do my makeup, whatever. I finished my nails. This is what they came out looking like. They look so good. I just tried on 511 outfits just for me to put on an all black outfit. I literally have no clothes. Like, it's a combination of the fact that I've lost um significant amount of weight so now like my clothes that i do have just don't fit me right like they just look like they don't fit me like they look ill-fitting like it just i need stuff to get taken in or i just need to size down like my clothes my i feel like my whole wardrobe just doesn't look the same on me one and two i feel like i've worn everything that i have 700 times in 700 ways like i'm trying to style it differently i'm like trying to put pieces together but i'm like i don't have the right shoes for these pants i don't have a top to go with those pants i don't have a top bottom to go with this top like and now i have to leave in 20 minutes because it's going to take 30 minutes to get there and the screening starts at 4 30 i mean 5 30 and it's 4 20 and i was supposed to leave at 4 30 but i'm not leaving in 10 minutes because look at my hair oh so i just ended up putting on something that i've literally worn to like the last two of it it is what it is child it is what it is i'm about to do really and i wanted to do a look that's so sad <laughs> I wanted to do a makeup look, but I need to get there. Like, I can't get there super late. I'm always getting to events late. That's my one thing because between traffic and just what I think I'm going to wear and then what I end up wearing, it just never works out exactly the way I picture it in my head. Like, there's something that goes wrong. The outfit I thought I was gonna wear, I tried it on and it looked so weird on me. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I can't. Hope this is not even how I apply this. And when I'm rushing, I just be doing stuff. And the sun is about to set and I already know it's gonna get dark. I'm so glad I did my nails though, cause I literally, I, and then turn this on. This, the second this starts to look bad, I'm gonna just turn the camera off. I finished my makeup. I literally have to call my Uber right now. And I did my hair. Ah! Oh, oh my God, that hurts. Okay. Oh, my ear is bleeding. Nice, I love that for me. Happy pink birthday. Happy pink birthday. Maybe I could do my mascara while I wait for my Uber. Guys, I just got 
to Melrose Rooftop Cinema for the Kate Ali event. Um, I'm late. It started 15 minutes ago. So hopefully, I haven't missed too much. And hopefully they have food because I'm literally starving. Just a third floor. I feel like I'm gonna have to, oh, perfect. I was, I was literally here a couple of days ago with Hillary and the stairs, I mean the elevator wasn't working so we had to take the stairs. My little teddy coat on. Let's see what it's given. I'm late. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh. Oh period. Wait. I had, I literally plugged my light in. I literally plugged my light in and I left it on the freaking counter. Isn't that so dumb? There's so many people here. Thank you. They got headphones for the movie, for the show. Oh, there's candy. How cute. Oh, these are literally my fave. I'm so mad I left my light because it's actually really dark up here. Um, they didn't start playing the show yet, so that's actually perfect. And they were handing out hot chocolate. So I got a hot chocolate. It's a little pepperminty, I think. It tastes really good. talk to you about something. Do you think I, your eyes are a little too smoky for every day? Yeah, I'm going through a phase. Is that okay with you? Sure. Okay. You guys, I'm waiting on my, I don't even know if you can hear me. So finished, and now I'm waiting on my engraved Kayali lychee, sparkling lychee fragrance, the new one. They're sending us home with another one, a different scent. Literally my favorite one that's just about to get empty, like, I was spraying the last pumps of it on my way here. Well, before I got in my Uber. And they sent me home with the same one. You see how God works? Jasmine, that's me. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. We're filming a TikTok. You ready? I'm an influencer. If I didn't vlog it, it didn't happen.